In this video, let's talk about how Skyglass is making virtual production more accessible and how they're using AI to help relight your scenes. Real quick, you're watching VP Land. A special thanks to our sponsors for helping make our NAB coverage possible, Blackmagic and Atomos. And now, back to the video. What's up? I'm here with Ryan from Skyglass. Ryan, nice to see you. Great to um, see you too. So yeah, walk me through. What are we looking at? Uh, what is Skyglass? So Skyglass is a virtual production app that you can use on your iPad or your iPhone. You don't need any additional equipment. All you need is the device and an internet connection. So our servers in the cloud are running Unreal Engine, and we have a library of assets that you can use, and we also allow you to upload your own custom Unreal Engine assets uh, to use with our app. The app does 3D tracking of uh, the camera, and so you can do your own virtual production shots on a budget really easily. Nice, and so you're able to load in whatever Unreal scene you've got, or you choose from your library? Exactly, yeah. So we have a plugin for Unreal Engine. You can use our plugin to export your scene as a Skyglass asset pack and upload it to our cloud. It'll show up in your library, um, as well as the, the built-in scenes that we have in our library. Cool, and um, what kind of uh, gene options do we have? So we've got AI background removal, um, and we also have blue screen or green screen, really any color screen. You can adjust those advanced settings for adjusting the key. You can adjust the strength of the key. You can adjust the color, despill. And then additionally, you can use AI background removal. If you don't have a green screen, it will remove the background without a green screen as well. Okay. And uh, what, were some, uh, like, what was your origin of this idea? Like, what, was, what are the use cases? Yeah, I've been excited about using AR to make filmmaking more accessible for a really long time. And before this, I was at Apple on the team building uh, the Vision Pro, built Reality Composer, so doing AR and VR tools. The Mandalorian came out and they used virtual production on the LED stage. I thought that was incredible for making VFX filmmaking easier for directors, but still having a million dollar LED wall isn't exactly democratization. And so it's like, can we do this on the iPhone? We have the tracking technology built in with the advances in cloud rendering and pixel streaming. We could do all the rendering in the cloud and still get the same level of graphics. Um, so that's what I built. And and it works, it's great. Right. And what kind of projects have you seen people uh, make with this? So we've had a huge variety. So we have social media content creators who are making fun skits, videos. We have music videos. Just last night we watched the premiere of Cobrazilla, an amazing uh, homemade indie film that, that we watched. It was, it was awesome. So, so they shot that whole thing, it was, you said it was like an hour long film or something? Yeah, shot. it was about an hour long. He said he shot 70% of the live action shots with Skyglass. That's wild. And uh, yeah, what do you kind of see next happening with Skyglass and sort of like what's like the next uh, vision? The one feature we're really excited about, we've just launched is AI relighting. So right now, when you're in the shot, the color doesn't match in live, but you can then upload it to our cloud. It will use AI to process the video in post and it will, you can download a fully relit video where the actor's face and clothes and skin is all color matched to the environment. And that's just awesome. That's very wild. So yeah, can you tell me a bit more just in general, like your thoughts of uh, just like using machine learning and AI for like lighting uses, relighting uses, like tell me more about that. Yeah, I mean, when you're talking about virtual backgrounds for a shot, lighting is key because you need your talent to mesh with the shot. Talented compositors, they'll make sure the lighting on set is correctly mm -hmm. set up and they'll do a lot of color grading in post. But we want our app to be accessible to any filmmaker, um, any storyteller, really. And so all you have to do is take your shot. doesn't have to match the lighting exactly. And then you can upload it to the cloud, and it will regenerate the lighting on the foreground to match. Yeah, it sounds like a huge way to sort of like up the quality, up the level, perceived budget of your film. Because like a biggest giveaway with like green screen stuff is you see the background, the background looks cool, but then you've got like a big blotchy light and it just like ruins the illusion. Exactly. Uh, so yeah, that sounds like a very awesome solution using uh, machine learning and stuff. Yeah, and we're not showing that live because it takes an hour about to process yeah. the video. So the idea is you record it, you take your take, and then you would upload And then you would the say cloud. upload in it. It's all in the app. What would need to happen for that to happen in real time, like in the future? Yeah, as you know, as companies continue to optimize GPUs, to do faster AI that totally could happen in real time and even on the phone, like the silicon on Apple's devices are getting faster and faster every year. So I don't think we're that far from uh, being able to do this in real time. That would be amazing. That'd be pretty wild. Yeah. Uh, and where can people get the app and pricing and what's the uh, house it set up? Yeah, the app is available worldwide on the App Store right now. And there's two subscription plans. We have our Pro plan, which gives you access to all the environments in the app. You can do AI relighting, you can do high quality export. And then we have the Studio plan, which adds support for uploading your own custom Unreal Engine environments, um, as well as like downloading the separate foreground and the background and the mat as separate layers if you want to do your own compositing in your own software. So um, those are the two plans, $18 a month for Pro and $50 a month for Studio. OK, great. And now we have an actress, so do you want to walk us through uh, yeah, so, what's going on here? Uh, here's, our, here's our talent. And so she's here in this, in this uh, cyberpunk scene. You can see 
we're able to, to move the camera. You can see as I, as I move the camera around, it's able to track her perfectly in this environment. You know, I can, down at her feet, you can see it's locked to the, to the ground, which is something that's pretty tricky to do with virtual production. Also, we have this whole library of scenes, so we can switch over here to this desert dune scene. Like, this is fully Unreal Engine 3D scene, so you know, you have animation, you have yeah. any kind of rigging you want to do, metahumans, anything you need to put in your Unreal Engine scene, you got it. I hope she doesn't get eaten. Um, can you do any uh, triggering of any events in the Unreal scene? or Not yeah. yet, okay. but that is something we definitely have planned. And what about navigating around? If you Absolutely. Know, like, yeah, so we have right here, I can hit the game controller button, and now I can actually take her over to, ah, take her over to the... Towards the worm. Towards the worm. We might actually get eaten here. Here we go. It's coming for us. I think it's going to eat us. Ah, we're getting eaten. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> so yeah, you can definitely navigate all around the scene. And when you uh, set this up, do you have to do any initial calibration, or is it pretty much just ready to go when you're... Uh, it's pretty easy, so um, I'll reconnect here so you can see the process. As soon as it connects, it tells you to point your camera at the floor. You set an origin point. Say done. That's it. Oh, super so. simple. You just say where the floor is, and you're good to go. Yeah, exactly. So that's how the app works. We've got a, a, a bunch of scenes here, so we've got like cool flying cars. And in addition to sci-fi, we've got, you know, architecture, you know, a nice office. It might not quite fit the costume, but, yeah. you know, any kind of environment you can build on Unreal Engine, you know, go to Minecraft, um, whatever you want to do, yeah. uh, we've got it here in the app. And then you can also upload your custom environments. Cool. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot, Ryan. Hey, it was awesome to meet you. Yeah, likewise. Thanks, thanks for coming by. Thanks. And that is it for this video. Be sure to check out the rest of our NAB coverage over here at this playlist. And for more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode.